I got your transmission apart on the bench here. I'll kind of walk you through everything I found, top to bottom, front to back. When we were loading it in the car, we found one of these looked a little bit off for some reason, or I pointed that out. Um, basically, I found a copper crush washer in place of where an aluminum spacer washer would have gone. Now, I know you were talking about this thing having problems going into first or reverse. Now, if this was flip-flopped, technically you could have an issue getting it all the way over into first or all the way over into reverse. Uh, if that was your issue, that's the source of it. Otherwise, I, if that didn't do that, I, I don't think you would have known this, noticed any difference, but um, in theory, that could cause that problem. Um, moving along to the rest of this transmission, the synchros look like they have been serviced. The uh, washers or the nut has been removed. They have restaked this and they have restaked this. So my assumption is this has been a part. They have serviced these synchros and the wear on the synchros themselves tells me they've been serviced. I will take this nut off and I will check and verify that these are the carbon synchros just you know out of habit we want to make sure it has the good ones in it while it's apart and then one of the synchro keys was bent and likely that wouldn't have caused any issue but basically this guy just looks like he got smashed or squished or something it happens no big deal wouldn't have caused an issue but while it's apart i'll get that swap for a brand new one and then moving on from there uh this was flip-flopped it was just upside down wouldn't have caused a problem this is just the shim for the cluster. Uh, they had it shims face up. Normally it goes bearing shims and then spacer. So you get even pressure on your shim and even preload on the shaft. There technically is no static preload, but um, for the sake of reassembly, I'll just put it together how Subaru puts them together. And then the one component I found that had wear in this transmission was the three, four shift fork. So if we look right there, that shift pad is a little mushroomed out. That can be caused from aggressive third to fourth gear shifting. Uh, it's kind of mushroomed on both sides. So this thing has seen a number of hard three fours in its life. Might've been before you, might've been with you. Uh, hard to say, but we'll get that deal swapped out. They definitely can get worse. This is an example. I just replaced this on a customer's transmission where the fork pads were completely gone. Yours are not completely gone, but I'd like to replace this just so that we know we're at square one on this and I'll get all the proper crush washers swapped for their respective ones or their proper ones. Um, outside of that, I didn't find anything else like that would have caused a catastrophic failure or any kind of major failure in the transmission. The reverse synchro is still in great shape. First gear still in great shape. Uh, nothing would have caused anything to not shift into first or reverse other than that. Um, but that's just mechanically being able to get over and into first. Uh, I don't know you'd be the judge of that i didn't drive the car so i wouldn't know but at this point i will get a fork ordered and get this apart and make sure this has the proper synchros in it i probably won't do it today but i will get to it soon